что ж, ты готов сыграть? Да. Подожди. Миш, у меня для тебя одно важное признание. В отличие от тебя трехлетнего, я сорокалетний лоб. Играть в шахматы не умею. Поэтому мы тебе нашли достойного противника. Я приглашаю в эту студию 12-го чемпиона мира по шахматам, международного гроссмейстера, заслуженного мастера спорта СССР. Nostalgia of goggles on, but and I, and I and I can say this because I made this. But what a terrible model! What a terrible model I made. It was it was great when I made it 15, 16, 17 years ago. But looking at it now, it's a terrible, terrible base model I made. <laughs> There's no way around it. He's like got the most ripped torso ever, and then like this blocky calf, and his forearm is like way too high into his, his bicep. This is my art. This is my, this is what I made. His neck is like straining. I really dislike drawing to this model because <laughs> I'm using a, a flogged figure design my armor. So I'm, all, I'm already starting with something that's off. So actually I would make this forearm come down lower. The reason that I, I can give myself one excuse, the reason why the proportions are this way is because it had to fit for the male and the female. Uh, we had one skeleton. So it had to be as gender neutral as possible. There's another thing that was my idea that I don't know if it was the greatest, but was to make the backside of the characters black or in silhouette. It just made it easier because I only had to draw one arm and one or one uh, one side of the arms and one side of the legs. It was all about being efficient. So I had to find the fastest, most efficient way to reproduce items, armors, monsters. So yeah, it wasn't just the items on the character, I had to make all the monsters, animate them, make all the cinematics. It was a good time. I don't want it to sound like uh, I was complaining. I had fun doing it. So, I don't think it's, it's not as efficient for me anymore. But, yeah, so this is like an idea of how you can, this is one way you could make armors or ideas for armors. You know what? I don't know if I should do it this way. If you guys want to know how I truly made these, these early armors, it wasn't with the line. It was totally with shapes, but I, I'm not sure if that was the best way, but it's, it's probably, let me give you an example. This is how I made all the, the AQW art, uh, in the early days anyway. And this is why they got the look that they have. I would just draw shapes. And then I would do the use the lasso tool to make more shapes within the shape. And this was basically it. And then I would just keep going until eventually something would happen. I'll do this shoulder piece the the way I did it in the original pieces of uh, 
ATWR. Some shoulder plate. I'd make a symbol out of it. You guys want to know how I made those early art pieces? This is exactly it. And you just keep making more of those things. And eventually you pick one and then you just make make an armor. I did a lot of the, the fiends and um, a lot of the, uh, the voids this way. So yeah, that's how I made a lot of those. And at the time, gradients were a no no. But that rule seems to have gone out the window. It's all about detail over performance. <clears throat> over so I was like, don't, don't you, don't you do it. Don't you put, don't you put a gradient on that armor. It's forbidden. Hero, why is the gradient forbidden? Uh, because um, when we were first working on the the beginning of AQW, um, we wanted to keep the game as streamlined as possible, which means no gradients, because it would create more process. It would require more processing power for computers. Uh, like some of the chat has already mentioned that some armors are so detailed that it will lag the whole room just to be standing in there. So that was the reason behind not using gradients. Uh, but eventually that was all thrown out the window. I guess it did age well. When you can't find ways to make something better, that means it's aged well. There's ways to make this look better, definitely though. Dog, hello Meltonius, do you still play AQW? Maybe every once in a while, maybe just to chill. Go ahead, K and Yolgar. Uh, unfortunately, no, I have not played uh, AQW. I stopped playing uh, ever since, I think, maybe shortly after over so, I just stopped coming into the game. Once I stopped working on the game, I stopped going into the game. But when I was making game art, I was always in the game. I was incognito a lot of the times, though. Thank you because of Meltonius when I saw one dude with the ungodly Reavers of Meltonius. I remember those because they were gigantic scythes. That was fun. That was a fun piece to make. The Venom Head Sword? That was one of the first swords that I put a, a face on. <clears throat> I don't even remember what the story was behind it. But yeah, that was one of the first sword, first weapons that I actually put a face on. So, I remember, if I remember the name of the armor, it means I really liked it. So I really liked the Iron Hide Plate. Did you animate Dage versus Nogath? Ashnik. Yes, I did. So yeah, you gotta you gotta stay you gotta stick with an art style, or a game just looks confused. So you don't want a cartoony style mixed with a hyper realistic style. Uh, I don't like that. So this armor is gonna be way too detailed for a, a Kumi Ward. Speaking of J Six, you can thank J Six for the style of uh, shading for AQW. He showed me that you could still get a nice three-dimensional look without over detailing things. That uh, Onslaught armor was a great example of that. Before that he made a, a gladiator piece that was Really nice, nicely rendered. How long have I been on this one piece of armor? This one, one, this one shoulder piece, I should say. It's not even the armor, it's just one piece of the armor. 
I imagine doing that 20 times a month. What do you think about AQW3D? Uh, hey, Schneck, I don't know. Uh, I know the art looks good. I've only seen it on YouTube reviews and videos, so I've never played it, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, but I like the uh, I like the art and the models in the game. The animations could use some impact. From what I see, the animations are very. You know, if you watch uh, a lot of Japanese games like Capcom, look at the difference when like. A sword hits in one of those games. Could there be a chance this come out in AQW? Probably your birthday. Sure, there's always a chance. If uh, the commissioner asks, I guess, Alina to put it in the game, then maybe they will. But I have no control over that. Are you planning to make any items for your birthday? Lonely Annie, don't, I don't think so. They don't ask me to do that anymore. They've got people to, to copy. Will this commission be in game? I have no idea. If Lance can get it in game, then yes. I'm not sure why they wouldn't want uh, armor that they didn't have to make in the game. So it's only a win-win for them. And it's also no gas, so that's going to sell a lot of ACs. Yep. They'll make a lot of money for something they didn't have to make. So good on them! I wish I could get some royalties off of that. But, oh well. I'm making my own game. Armor AQW. Ooh, that looks nice. I like it. That's very. That's very close to something. I did. I make that or did I not make that? I can't even fucking remember. <laughs> oh. I don't remember making this if I did. I don't think I made this. This looks very, very Meltonious like though. Whoever made this did a really good job. I would use a lot of uh, existing armors to make new armors. Yeah, I guess I did make this. There's a lot of stuff that I would do in here. But there's a gradient, so this must have been one of the later armors I made. Because I would have never used the gradient. No, he did make the assets themselves. The artists, yeah, that's what. Ah, crap, you, you read my mind. I didn't even get to that part. I was thinking, they must have Frankenstein, because some of that armor, I was like, I did make that part, but I didn't make this part. <clears throat> So they did a Frankenstein job. Still looks nice. Yeah, the Void Warlock is a huge Frankenstein. Even the chess skulls were copy and paste. Definitely cheaper. Just copy my work and edit it. I would love to see Ironhide plate. Man, look at the chest on her. She is like buff. I wouldn't want to mess with her. Did I make that armor? Or is that a Frankenstein? That looks like... That looks like something I would make, but... Some of that stuff I don't think I would have put together like that. I think this is a Frankenstein, maybe. Uh, this one looks cool. This looks like a juggernaut. He looks like he can break things. I like that helmet. This is definitely a Frankenstein. They just... They took one of my armors and they like... They made it into a... A Hulk. 
I remember. I know these pieces. I know these pieces. And they made a cool little hammer out of this as well. Got the chains. That helmet is new. I don't think I made that. I think the horns I made, maybe. Who would have thought I made what I could make one dragon animation and art and it could be made into a thousand eleven bajillion. See this is what I this is what I like. I like it's detailed but it's also simple. Very clean. Very it looks good from a uh, looks good up close, but it also looks good from a distance. That's how I judge things. Does it look good when you make it real small? but also look good when you get real close. That was always my judgment. It had to look good far away and it had to look good close. If you zoomed out and then it just looked like a cluster of lines, that means it was too much, at least in my opinion. But I love the way these look. These look great. Thanks for sharing. <coughs> Not AKW nostalgia, more like milk nostalgia. Well, thank you, Zilsus. I can't nostalgia, be nostalgic about myself, but I appreciate it. Will you recover this summer too? It's bright for the nation. <laughs> Pete, this is not for uh, this is not nation armor though. This is a commission for a remake of the Golden Warrior. So I must stay true to those, um, to that uh, vision of the commissioner.